G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, as you can see here, I've got my HSP X-Star buggy out again. Now I've converted this to brushless now. Um, I bought this one early to mid April and uh, I actually done a couple of speed tests here on the stock uh, 540 brushed system. I done some 2S speed runs and a 3S speed run as well. Uh, on 2S, on the stock configuration, it ended up getting 37 k's an hour top speed. And when I put a 3S in it, it got 54 k's an hour. So um, in that video, I did mention that I was waiting for some uh, brushless combos from eBay. Uh, they were rather cheap. They are around 44 bucks, I, th I think, and uh, if I remember rightly. And um, I bought a set for my brother and for myself. Now, initially, I put this system in the WL Toys 104001. It consists of a 3650 uh, motor with a 3900 kV and this uh, blue claimed 120 amp ESC. Okay, so uh, yeah, I've got it now back in this buggy like I was initially intended because uh, I did put a different combination in the 104001 recently in uh, one of my previous videos that I filmed not long ago, a couple of days back. So uh, anyway, guys. We're going to give this a test on uh, 3S first, and then I might uh, try out the 2S. I've got a Florian pack, it's a 5200 um, 2S battery. Okay, a hard pack, but uh, for now, for this 3S run, I'm using the uh, HRB 1500 milliamp hour 45C uh, 3S LiPos. I've got them in parallel there to make up uh, 3000 milliamp hours. Okay, guys, so. I've got my Bluetooth uh, GPS tucked in there in the canopy. So we'll take it for a 3S speed run first. And then, like I said, we'll uh, try out the 2S. So it got 54 k's an hour on 3S uh, with the stock 540 brushed uh, ESC and motor combo. So let's see what we'll get on this brushless uh, conversion. Okay, guys, I got it all powered on. It's ready to go. Okay, so I'll just uh, make sure this is all zeroed out. Yep. So we'll go to track, start. Okay. And I'm going to turn the recording on, get some onboard footage. And let's see how it goes on 3S. Okay, that will do. We'll take it down to there. Let's give it a go. Oop. Now I did set all the parameters on this uh, ESC to maximum strength. As far as they would go, as far as punch and maximum uh, throttle response. This car is very stable. Much like the 104001. The same size, 10 scale. Okay, that should do it. Let's see what we got. On the GPS. Stop, read, 65 k's an hour, guys on this particular combination. So a uh, bit of an increase uh, on the brush uh, system anyway. So 65 Ks, we'll see what that is in mile per hour. Go to units, miles. 40 mile an hour. All right guys, so that's a 3S speed run on the uh, HSP X-Star 110 scale buggy 
I may try some uh, different ESC combinations later on. I'll keep this same motor, but I'll try it out with a different ESC later on and revisit this car. All right, so what we'll do, uh, got 65 k's an hour on 3S as we just saw. I'll put that 2S LiPo in and we'll see uh, what sort of increase we get on that compared to stock. So I'll just swap it over and uh, we'll have a look. All right, guys, I've got the 2S in it. It's a 5200 uh, Florian LiPo hard pack and um, it's zeroed out as you can see here. So we'll go for the 2S run. Okay. Press record on that. Now it's going to be slower than the 3S, obviously, but uh, just want to see the difference between the 37Ks on the stock compared to uh, what we'll get with this brushless setup. Yeah, it's not that fast. There's definitely something to do with this ESC, guys. I said that when I ran it in the 10401. They claim it's a 120 amp, but highly doubt that, that's for sure. But so definitely be swapping out this ESC. No need to go any more with that one. You can definitely tell that that was uh, peaking out. 47 k's an hour there, guys, on this uh, combination. Okay, so it did get, uh, it was 37 with the stock brushed. So I got a 10 uh, kilometer gain and on 2S and an 11 kilometer gain on 3S at 65 instead of uh 54 so all right guys thanks very much for watching just thought i'll try it out um and see how it did on this brushless system it runs a 3650 3900 kv with uh you know that claimed 120 amp esc so those escs are really cheap so uh this whole combination was rather cheap at around 40 odd bucks so uh yeah guys Definitely don't think these are 120 amp ESCs, that's for sure. Should have got a better speed than that. But uh, anyway, there is a bit of improvement there. Uh, what I'll do next time, I'll put a different ESC in there, a Surpass Hobby one. And we should get closer to what I was getting with the 104001. Anyway, guys, thanks very much for watching. Like I said in my previous video, I was going to revisit this one and try it out on brushless. And uh, yeah. It's a good comparison anyway for now, just to see what sort of speeds we got with this particular combo. All right, guys, have a great day. Uh, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, happy RCing. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.